Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Neo Scavenger. We are here in the possible final run. Again, I asked you last episode to just leave your comments, let me know if you want to have this still hang around, and I'll base it based on your support. Again, the reason why I was considering phasing is because I'm trying to get some new content into the channel, which is always good. Although when you introduce new content initially, people are kind of like, wait a minute, this is not what I'm used to, and you know, it, it unfortunately rubs some people the wrong way. I'm not entirely sure why. I figure you guys would like to see new content. But, um, you know, it sometimes rubs the wrong to people the wrong way. And that's fine. It's understandable. <clears throat> Especially if you are invested in a series itself. I'm invested in Neil Scavenger. I've always been. But again, if you guys want this to hang around and keep it around still, let me know. Keep letting me know. And um, we will definitely go with it. Um, either way, we have this over here. We ended the episode last time with this, a tank. There's possibly people inside. Are they good people? Are they bad people? I don't know. We have to figure that out. So, you could ram rubbish down all the air intakes, seal it off. A quicker dead would be doing them a favor. Oh my lord, that's really morbid as hell. I could walk away. I could tap out some made-out Morse code on the turret. They'll puzzle over it for days, but you'll leave them with hope. Or you might not have enough energy or time to rescue them, but you have to try. Hopefully you won't be seen. If there's one thing I've learned about Neo Scavenger is that rarely does it pay off to help anybody in this game. Yet, I'm still going to do it because I really want this to lead to some sort of, like, you know, crazy event that we're not, you know, familiar with. So, I'm going to try it out. And it's going to require energy. I, I hope that, you know, I mean, we're well rested still, but probably by the time we're done, this is going to be pretty low. But we'll see. An hour into the task and you're worn out. There's just too much rubble to move. It isn't going to work. The hammering from the inside the tank is starting to fade as the in initial excitement wears off. How do you tell them? Do you even bother telling them? What would it be like being buried alive, knowing that your only hope was given up? Confused and frustrated, you sit down and try to figure out a plan. You're interrupted by a gang of slavers, on the prowl for new stock, time to go. You glance back at the tank full of condemned people, bad dreams tonight guaranteed. So, okay. That could have turned bad, but luckily they left me alone, these um, supposed um, slavers, so... Yeah, at least we're, we're fine, I mean... Um, the worst didn't really happen. Now, there's a few more things we got to do over here before we actually take off. Even though the slavers are there, I'm still going to be like, Oh, let me just come over here and scavenge. Nothing's going to go wrong. And yes, I'm going to use mechanic because last time I got hurt not using mechanics. So don't tell me otherwise, guys. Storage shed. We use the crowbar. Light source and... Nah, we don't need mechanic for this one, I would say. Oh! Okay. Got a wrench. Wrench is good. Wrench is really, really strong if you actually land a hit. But I think that with the... War Club, you don't need to really need the wrench. However, since we have a free hand for now, we'll carry it, see what's up. Now, this guy over here, if I'm right, you could turn this into a sack as well, right? Yes, you can. You definitely can. We already have a sleeping bag, so, I mean, I'll, I'll make it into a sack and see what's up. <clears throat> I mean, we can't even carry this extra sack unless we put it in this free hand, but then, well, you know what? This is like a temporary thing. But I'm going to actually take the sack with us just because I could always just um, place it in my hand <clears throat> and then just take the wrench with us. And you know what? If we get to a point where we don't need an extra weapon or a torch, then, you know, we'll carry it along. If we have to drop it for a torch, I have no issue doing that because I already have a sack anyway. <laughs> and quite a sack it is, baby. Uh, either way, um, immature shit aside. We have one more place to scavenge, which we will. It's a destroyed office building, so mechanic definitely on the prowl. Along with all the stuff over here. And we found another water bottle, which is actually something I do want to get involved with. So, let me place you here. You, quality torches, could go and hang out over here for now. Everything else, though, I'm not really interested in. There is a medic for clean rags. Well, I already know about that one. There's a second one in here, though, and this is for food, roasted meat, and a stick. I already knew that one, too. So, nothing new there. I already got this under control, dog. I'm not too, you know... I guess, um, we're thirsty and hungry, though, huh? There's some water here. Let's go over here and actually sanitize the water that we got. There's also a shag in the forest. Not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I... I feel a lot better about this game than I used to. Alrighty. At least my personal survival. Now, we're gonna, number one, throw this down to make a fire. Because we have some water to sanitize, and we'll probably come back to this shortly. What I want to do first is just, um, jump to this source. Grab water, come back, and sanitize. I think that's the best course of action here. So let's use this up. And let's see here. Which one is, um... You're only at one. So let's empty you out. And let's empty you out. And we'll just place you together again. Like so. Like so. And like so. In reality, I should probably drink this water too and just take the 
<clears throat> unpurified one widows, right? Just to take care of our thirst now. So we'll do one, two, one, two. And this is dirty water that needs to be sanitized. But now our thirst is under control. And we can just sanitize this one back in the area that we're headed to. Alrighty, that works out pretty good for me. And now we just jump back here. I guess, good as any place. I mean, there's a lot of uh, forests over here to choose from anyway. And we're out of moves, so we can't craft it this turn, so let's just end it. Go into crafting. And now we do what we gotta do here, which is make a friction fire first. And we do have the ingredients on the floor to make this happen, I would imagine. So friction, all good. I can even stoke it. You know what? Might as well stoke it if we can. Medium fire, stoked. There you go. Alrighty, now we need to go to purified water times three, wherever that one might be at now. Sterilized water, three. Boom, boom, and boom. I think that's all of it, right? No, no, there's still some unpurified water in there. So no recipes, and we'll do you as well. <laughs> yeah, we'll do you. And there you go. So sterilized water under control. No big deal. Everything's looking pretty good so far. There's a free extra bottle here. I guess we need to purify one more time, don't we? No, oh, these guys are together. Hey, just hang out together. There you go. Alrighty, everything's purified. We still have a few moves left, which is what I want to do is actually go in here and capture ourselves a little bit of a squirrel, have a little bit of food, and be fine and good here. So we'll do 30. Got a squirrel. Perfect. We need to shed the skin from this man here. The squirrel man. Trapping. That's not trapping. That's mechanic, Falcon. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Can't read. Now, wah, bah, bah, bah. what am I looking at? Well, I guess I could have just do the recipe, make it a lot easier for myself, but I don't learn sometimes. There you go. Firm and clear. We still have the fire going on, right? We do. So the fire will hang out here for the next turn, so we don't have to move anywhere. Afterwards, we need to go down to the shack, so keep that in mind. And let's go ahead here and do roasted meat from... Meat from small corpse. Actually, roasted is what we're looking for, right? Not cured meat. Although cured meat wouldn't be a bad idea, too. But no, it's fine. <clears throat> Where is, um... Excuse me? Campfire? Not, not looking for cured. Am I just blind suddenly? Roasted meat on a stick. There we go. <laughs> I am blind. No lie. A lot of people keep pointing out to me, too. Like, Falcon, how did you miss this? It was right there. And I'm like, you know what, dog? Don't make fun of my vision, okay? It's a sensitive issue. I don't think I'm really blind. Well, actually, I really am. Like, the older I get, my vision keeps getting worse and worse. Oh, yeah, big surprise, Falcon. I know, I know. But it's just getting, like, progressively worse. Like, I, I actually noticed it myself, and it really freaks me out. I'm going to definitely take this because it's free food. As a matter of fact, let's just eat it now. Um, tarp? No, I'm fine. And yeah, This is all good. Don't eat that. I can make another sack if I wanted to. But, no, nah, it's okay. Alrighty. And we are done here, right? Let's just move out of the forest. Holy shit. There is some shit happening over here. Hopefully they're just looters, though, and they're not like, you know, crazy, angry, bad mothers that want to fight. I haven't left anything of value behind, have I? Please tell me I haven't. I've been so, like, vigilant about leaving shit behind. No, we're good. We're definitely alright. I'm tired, though, so we could probably get some rest kind of soon. Alrighty. Let's, um, probably consider getting some rest, um, somewhere over here. Away from, um, looters. Oh, there's a, a little city here that I could kind of check out. Don't want to check out the destroyed building first? Yeah, I kind of do. My adventurous spirit is always calling out for the wild. Alrighty, let's check this out. And of course, my adventurous spirit is the one that usually gets me hurt, too. So I'm going to use mechanic because fuck injuries and another map. I don't want to take it with me, but let me just use it. Locate Detroit. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if, um, using these maps gives you different points at some point or another, if it's always just Detroit Mega City. That I do not know. If anybody knows that could, you know, reassure me, then that'd be great. Let's see. Mechanic. Light. That. I'm a little bit dyslexic there. I think I called the crowbar mechanic. <laughs> Typical Falcon. Let me take this with me because that's free money. We're heading towards DMC anyway. And you know what? Let's actually take this too. We have the sack available to us right now. And quite a sack it is, let me tell you. But since we have the room, we might as well take advantage of it right now. End our turn. I think there's one more place to scavenge here before we do leave. Abandoned car. Oh, we can actually even sleep here, if I would imagine, right? I don't think I have to use mechanic because the safety's kind of high. Okay. And now we 
get some rest, I would say. So let's go into vehicle. We need to drop our sleeping essentials here. Drew, oh, excuse me. Where's my apartment building? It's not here. Never mind then. Can't sleep here after all. That's disappointing. So let's go towards a little... There's a shack in the forest. There's another destroyed building and this over here. Let's go towards here. I'm delaying the inevitable. I'm, I, I'm aware. What I'm hoping for is, you know, kind of a long shot, but I am hoping for just the best scavenge of all time and I just happen to run into a, a regular cart <laughs> and just be set for life. I mean, the chances that, that happens are pretty low, but I got to... Ooh, this alone made it worth it. $181. You know what's great about this? I could actually purify my wounds properly as well. Assuming I'm still worried about him. I don't think I am, but any future injuries could be definitely taken care of with the alcohol, so I'm happy for that. Really, really happy, as a matter of fact. Let me grab one more bottle, because we can. And that's about it. Good. That, that alone was worth the trip. $181 is nothing to sneeze at right now. So we'll use this, and... Ah. Oh, what else do we have here? Some clothing, another bottle itself, and... Oh, mechanical parts. You know what? I think we need a few of these for shit down the line. So let me grab those. I haven't seen too many of these this run, so I'm happy to find them here. You're at 321, not even worth taking for selling. Okay. We'll do the... the. Here's where I hopefully I can sleep here. I would love to sleep in this building because it usually gives you some pretty high shelter. I don't use, need to use mechanic for that one. Nothing was found. That's unfortunate. Let's go into shelter and... Really? <laughs> Again? What happened to all the good buildings, dog? Alright. Well, we're gonna go down towards that, um area towards the bottom here. I'm not leaving anything of value behind. Nope. Oh, shit. This guy has a gun. This guy has a shotgun. Please don't come at me. Please don't do it. Okay, I am freaked out. I don't want to run into this guy by mistake. Please don't let me run into him. Okay, I didn't run into him, but here's my worry. My worry is that they're looters, and when I'm asleep over here, or try to sleep, they're gonna come and, you know, kill me. <laughs> that would be really unfortunate. Let's check what's going on over here. The fact that there's so much activity here too also leads me to believe that there's probably not too much of um, value because everything's been already looted beforehand. But you know, I can hope. At this point, it's all about, no, I don't need a mechanic. Or actually, no, I don't. Found ourselves another sleeping bag. Don't really need it, so whatever. Now, can I sleep here? Yes. Available campsite. Perfect. Are you better than the other one? You are. So then we come over to vehicle, we drop this over here, this is where we're going to get some sleep, and even though I just said I'm worried about sleeping here because there's so much activity, I feel that we need to take advantage of this um, IT office building. Can I even toss this in here for more? No. Okay. Alrighty. So let's come over here and let me collect this while I'm at it. And that's about it. Let's go over here and get some sleep now. We have one move left over, but there's nothing else for us to do, so let's just sleep it off. Now, let's make sure we don't get looted in the nighttime here. Alright, now it is nighttime. So in order to continue, we're gonna need the torch. And we do have the torch, so that's not really a big concern. Um, although you know it's gonna be a concern lining it up. Although wait, you know, we have we have lighters, we're fine. But then we have to leave the sack behind. And I'm enjoying what's happening in the sack. That sounds like, you know, man, some sort of like, you know, STD type of thing. Like I'm coming off from like, you know, a really bad case of gonorrhea. It's like I'm really enjoying what's happening in the sack right now, guys. Um the only thing I really care about here is these three items. Bottles I could leave behind. Wrench is 20. Yeah, you know what? I think we travel in the dark here for a while. I think we do, because I really want to sell this shit. 20 bucks and 45 and 181. Yeah. How far are we from Detroit Mega City? Not too far. So yeah, let's just move at dark time here. Not the best thing to do. But I think right now at this point I would rather hold on to what's happening in the sack. Player is thirsty. That's cool, dog. I have water. Don't even worry about it. Everything is in my inventory, though. Making sure I'm not leaving shit behind. Okay, so we just continue going down this way. There might be something in my feed here. Just water that's really probably not the best to drink. Alright, Detroit Mega City. I'm coming for you, dog. Believe me, I am. Luckily, it's daytime already. It's not really a big issue. We could probably drink some water soon, but I'll hold off a bit more. Are we almost there? <laughs> I feel like one of those kids, like in a, you know, like a, one of those kids, like I was never that kid suddenly. I feel like when I was younger, you know, we go like on a road trip and I'm over here like, are we there yet? Like, come on, are we there yet? I mean, you want to be there yet. Lock storage shed. We'll use this over here to pop this open and we'll use light source and I don't think we need trapping, right? Well, trapping doesn't necessarily drop my loot, so yeah, I'll take it with me just in case. 
Another binocular. 49 bucks. Again, really good. Um, let me place you here and you over here, sir, if you don't mind. Thank you. Metal saucepan. Where do you have one? Okay, we're really we're getting close to DMC now, so we're gonna find less and less things from these scavenge areas because this area's over here been already completely looted from, you know, looters nearby DMC. Um, there is more to check out, which I will. Let's use that, that, and I don't think we need a trap. Found just some minimal items, nothing I'm really too crazy about taking with me. Scavenge again. We'll use this, this, and we'll definitely use mechanic. And nothing of value was found. Let me jump over to here. At this point, I feel like scavenging areas is basically pointless. But the only hope that I have is I probably run into like probably a looter's um, secret stash, and we could just steal it from them. And you know, hey, finder's keeper, dog. That's how it works around here. Nothing was found. And turn. Thirsty. I'm getting kind of really thirsty. We'll probably drink something really soon. Lock storage shed. I'm surprised that even even though they're locked, the loot is actually pretty low still. Nothing was found. This is becoming uh, <laughs> quite a bit of a regular thing now here, huh? Nothing was found. Big surprise. Abandoned house. Try one more time. Of course not. Okay. Let's continue going forward. Fuck this area. If you want to find stuff, you got to go up north. Oh, there it is. I see it. And we're so thirsty that we're dropping down to four moves. So I think it's about time that we start chowing down on some of our water here. So one, two. One, two. One, two. Two. And we're still left with four and then ten and T. And we're getting a little bit hungry too, but that's okay. We'll probably get some food at DMC, so that's not really too big of a concern for me. There it is, DMC. So since we haven't done this in a while, let's read this out. As you step into a clearing, you finally see the source of the eastern glow. It's a city, larger than any you've ever seen. Skyscrapers and their bigger brothers. Arcology stand shoulder to shoulder, casting their glittering lights into the sky. Hovering lights flit around the super towers. Like fireflies, a massive wall encircles their base with arm buttresses. <laughs> buttresses. Like glowing points of a crown. And radiating out from that wall, a shanty town of crumbling buildings, shacks, and tarp land toes. Relief at the sight of civilization almost overtakes you until you realize you still have to make it there. That and scavenging promises to get a lot harder near the city as nearby ruins will have been picked out already. That's why we haven't been finding anything right now because everything over here has been picked out. But... What I'm happy about is the fact that we're about to hit to the um, black market itself. And what's cool about this is that we actually have some things to sell. So I'm excited for that. Let me just check out these little areas here because we're here anyway. We're not going to run into any sort of danger. At least I don't think we are. Oh, it's already been looted too. Okay, so never mind. Um, Should we kind of sanitize water? I think we should. So let me come over here and let's go into... This, I just want to sanitize this water and have my bottles completely filled up. And you know what? Water is actually an easy way to make money, too, because it's so easy to collect it and sanitize it and flip it for $11. So that's an easy way to make money. I might consider doing this off camera if I go down that path just to buy something of value. We'll see. If we do it, I'll do it off camera. Not to bore you guys. Don't even worry about that. One, two, and three. Okay. We'll jump to this forest, and luckily we have a water source and a forest to actually sanitize the water, so we could make a lot of money here and just sell it off over here at the black market. Um, let's go to crafting. Let's make ourselves a little bit of a friction light. Um, preferably not with that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Forgot to do this. There we go. So, let's try this one more time. Friction light. There you go. That's the one I'm looking for. And let's actually even stoke it over here, because we might do a little bit of this, um... Um, cheap funding. So now that we have that, let's go into sterilized water. Boom. And boom. I think that's all of it, but I could be wrong. Sterilize, sterilize, and sterilize. Yep. Good to go. Okay. And there's even a forest here, so I wouldn't... Well, I, I guess I can't, huh? I was going to actually use my squirrels near here and get some hunger up. But I guess we're going to Detroit anyway, so what's the point? Alrighty, let's go over here. You hear them before you see them. People, lots of them, pushing, branches aside. You're presented with a city you saw from afar. A hybrid between Shantytown, Refugee Camp, and RV Park skirts the massive walls of the city. Everywhere you look, people navigate the winding, muddy roads, carrying supplies, patching holes in shelters, or arguing over property. Smoke from a thousand camp stoves and barrels. Fires trail upwards in the scent of cooked food. It elicits a gurgling from your stomach. Nary and I pays any attention to you, just one of the dozen of ragtag corpses shuffling in from the wasteland. Beggars, customers, hopefuls, prey. Welcome to DMC Sprawl. Alrighty. Now, we need to end our turn. And if I'm right, we could run into dude that gives you that quest here. 
As you step around a muddy tarp shanty of the edge of sprawl, you stumble across an old fifth wheel with smoke streaming from a stovepipe. People are lined up outside taking turns ordering at a window. Oh, this is new. Well, I mean, it's new to me, because I haven't played the vanilla game in a while, but... I don't remember there being a place outside of town that sold food. Usually I buy food from inside. That's interesting. You're standing outside the Last Chance Canteen, originally named for its location on the outskirts of the Sprawl. Locals often joke that the Last Chance Canteen is, in fact, a warning to prospective patrons, known for serving whatever is available, quote-unquote, as well as a few suspect staple dishes. The Last Chance is a venue for those hungry and not too fuzzy about their food's origins. Still, the old fifth wheel draws lines enough to keep its girl hot so nobody must have died from their food yet. Alrighty, so I wonder if they deal with, um, this is actually really cheap food. Well, to I, I would imagine it'll probably sell human meat, right? <laughs> I could be wrong, but let me do a mixed veggie bowl just in case. Alrighty. Being the safest dish on the menu? Yeah, it's arguably the most popular. Not far, not for lack of trying, though. A mix of sprouts and shredded carrots, lettuce and turnips fried in oil. If it had a flavor, you'd describe it as savory with a sweet yet pungent of tur taste. If it had a flavor. You know what? I see no reason why we shouldn't load up on this. So, you know, 10 bucks right there, we'll do 15. And we'll do 20. And again, we're going to make some money really fast, so I don't even care. It's free food, or at least not free food, but it's easy food. Then I have to go out there and look for um, squirrels for And let's max it out. Definitely max it out. Alright, so we're maxed out. Everything's looking good. We can even get some water here, too. But we're not going to do that because we have our own water. Alright. So with that, I'm happy. I'm definitely happy. Oh. Oh, that's to go back to the last chance, and this is to, um, tap. I think you need the electrician skill for this, which we don't have. So it's not going to be any use for us, I'm pretty sure, anyway. I was never really aware how to use that properly. Um, where is my black market? It should be here, right? There it is, the junk market. As you navigate the, wind the winding alleys of DMC Sprawl, you encounter a huge structure fashion of shipping containers. Throngs of people enter and exit the structure through a doorway on one side. Inside, you can see a thriving bazaar where people trade scavenge items in the light of a thousand lanterns and bug zappers. The air is thick with sweat, smoke, and the smell of a barbecue and spices. This is a Sprawl's notorious junk market. Pick up items to purchase them or drop them to sell them. Okay. So, with that, I believe we're going to wrap it up here as an episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. We're going to tune in next episode, and I will do some of the trading on camera so you guys could see what I sold and what I didn't sell, and you could yell at me as to, Falcon, you didn't buy this. Why? Blah, 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 blah. Because that's always fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.